Klaus Peter in Stuttgart, Germany. Well, that's a place I know very well. I worked, years ago, I worked as a disc jockey for the Army in Stuttgart, kind of where I got my, my feet wet <clears throat> at AFN. And I lived in a little town next to Stuttgart called Ludwigsburg. And that's part of, you know, King Ludwig and all of that. It was, a, it was an interesting time in my life, for sure. But yeah, so I know Stuttgart really well. Um, he says, hi, Paul. How important is the separation or the routing of power supply cables? Well, the brief answer is everyone's got an opinion on it, right? And here's mine. It's not very important at all. As long as they don't get too close to the audio cables. So a lot of people pay a great deal of attention to dressing their cables or power cables so that nothing gets too close to the other. And I'm not someone who pays a lot of attention to that. I know that you can make differences in sound by dressing cables, audio cables, but even that, I honest to God, I don't know if I was just lazy or what. I don't pay a lot of attention to it because I don't hear a whole lot of difference, to be real honest. Now, that could be because we use some pretty exotic cables that are well shielded. So let's talk about power cables for a moment. A properly shielded power cable is not something that you find at the five and dime store. It's not something that we even supply to you as our courtesy cable, our stock cable that we give you. That thing is shielded, but it's shielded on both ends. So the, the outer shield is connected on both ends. And, and I have, I should probably do that again. Some of the older videos in this series, the Ask Paul series, I did uh, some things where I, I took a uh, measuring device that measured, you could hear it, uh, the noise coming out of a cable. And if that power cable had its shield connected at the male and the female end, it was just radiating noise. It didn't really help a whole lot. The best way to do that is to tie the shield, the outer shield of a power cable, at the male end and don't tie it at the female end. And that allows any of the internal and external noise that is either generated or received to go straight into your grounding system and not be a bother. So every, every exotic power cable I have ever seen that we have ever made or bought, if it's shielded, it is shielded properly with the male end ha having the shield tied there and not on the female end. That's really important. So much of what I'm saying here as in terms of is it important for power cables to be properly placed. A lot of that probably depends on the power cable that you're using. The kind that we use, proper power cables, nah, it really doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Do cables in general make a difference? Yes, quite a big difference. So live with it. <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> Bye.